Before starting the engine for the day, we need to check the oil. Unscrew the oil bung and clean the dipstick with a rag. Reinsert the dipstick, but do not screw in. Check the oil against the high and low marks. To check the air filter, unscrew the air filter cover and remove. Unscrew the wing nut that retains the air filter itself. Check that the air filter is clean. And then refit securely. Before starting, make sure the operating handle is at a comfortable height. To adjust, undo the wing nut and then wind the knob in or out to adjust to a comfortable operating height. To start the engine, first move the throttle to the starting position. Turn the key once and the ignition warning buzzer will sound. Turn the key further to crank the engine. To stop the engine, first close the throttle. The ignition warning buzzer will sound reminding you to turn off the key. If the battery is flat, you can manually start the engine. First open the decompression valve, turn the ignition on and move the throttle to the start position. Then pull the recoil starter. Once again to stop, close the throttle and then turn off the key. Always operate the machine at full throttle. To move the machine, ease the control arm forward or backwards. The further you move the control arm, the faster the compactor will go. The speed is infinitely variable, making it easy to get up close to other objects. The frame has a built-in lifting hook for loading and unloading. When lifting, lower the control arm to keep the machine well balanced and avoid damage.